Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad you can make it again today. In today's video, you're actually going to learn how to make ball bounce, how to make proper ball bounce. When you have the physics correct, the bounce correct, everything just looks realistic, basically, right? Of course, if you are new to my channel, make sure you consider subscribing. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like it. And I'll see you guys at the end of the video. Let's go. So I already have a ball and I have my stage set. So what I would like to do is to make sure that I determine where it, the ball is landing or where it's going to be bouncing from. So I'm going to activate my rulers and to activate your rulers is Ctrl R, right? And I'm just going to take this and just screw this down here. Not exactly at that point, but maybe something like this would do. But I still want to sell a little bit of depth in the scene. I have my action title on, I'll turn it off right uh, that was when i was trying to centralize so right now we need to start doing the bounce so one of the first thing you need to do uh if i click on this you can see that i've changed my anchor point to the center if you use at the middle you can easily just change it to the center by using the anchor point behind two or if you use motion tools you can just easily change it from you know whatever anchor point not necessarily motion to the other script that does that for you to as well so i changed my anchor point to be at the bottom uh, let me just quickly name this to ball and here i have two scenes here let me just name it to be ground and that would be my background so right now i'm going to click this i'm going to press p for position so right here you can see that i've separated my position dimension which is x and y uh yours might not be like this so all you need to do is to make sure you click this and then click on separate dimension so i can have you know the x and y separately so the x will be separated from the y like this so so right now my bouncing is actually mainly on the y axis so that's why i actually wanted to be separated and with this i will be able to have control over the values all right so the very first thing i like to do i'll take my time indicator back and then set the keyframe here and then uh don't forget the account point has to be at the bottom and then i would like to move forward in 10 frames so i'm going to hold down ctrl shift then the arrow button to move forward so that's 10 frames and I'll set this down. So I'm going to click and drag my position, my Y position down to the point where I want this to be. Yeah, I think that's okay. I think that works for me. I think, I think this works. Let me just drag it up a little bit. I think this works, right? So let me just go forward again in seven frames. So I'm going to set this up, right? Let me zoom in to see what I'm doing and I'm just going to bring this up kind of close to you know to where it's coming from then I would go forward let's say um let's say six frames one two three four five six and then I'll bring this down so all I need to do is just highlight this copy and then paste so it's going to always going to be the same value. Then I'll go forward again. Let's see another five frames. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'll drag this up. Maybe not so close to where it was before. So the ball will not be gaining as much speed as before, right? So let me move forward in four frames. One, two, three, four. And then I'll just copy this and paste. So let me just do three frames. One, two, three. And then this will go up a little bit. Just a tiny bit actually. Maybe I can do two frames, one, two, then copy and paste. Copy and paste. Maybe I can try and move forward two more frames again. Then I like this to be a very subtle ball bounce. Just a tiny bit. And then I'll move forward one frame and then I'll just copy and paste this. Alright, with this, if I play this now. It won't look so much, right? It won't look so much at all because it's not looking realistic. So all we need to do now is to go to our graph editor. So I'm going to highlight all of this. I'll first of all make them easy ease. So right click, keep in my stand, I'll do easy ease, right? And I'm actually going to go to my graph editor now. And you might first of all see your speed graph, right? We're not going to be making use of speed graph now actually going to be making use of the value graph so as you can see this is what we have here so right now all you need all we need to do is to tweak this accordingly right so right now i'm just going to select this right 
so as it is right now if i want to make it if you want to make any value slower you have to just drag it more right you have to make sure it has more curve so with this this will make it really really slow but then when it gets to this video it will come fast right for you to drop so you can see but then if i want to make it really really fast from the beginning i have to you know make sure the like drag it opposite direction right so that this to just start dropping really really fast for it okay but for now i think i'm just going to do this right i'm just going to do something halfway like this and i'm just going to alight this if i drag this handles you can see they are separated but in some situation or maybe by default uh you might have situations like this where the two handles are actually together right so you can actually do this you can actually break these handles in two ways you can hold down alt and break release it hold down alt and break and then you have these handles separated or you can just choose any of this option here which i'll show you very soon right so right now i'm just going to try to adjust this right so you can see this at this edge this is where it's bouncing off so it makes sense for it to have this sharp edge because it's bouncing off so right now you can see it's coming down and then it just bounce off so let me just play this from the beginning can you see this already it's already looking more realistic so all we need to do is to actually adjust the rest of it so let me start doing that so i'm just going to take this and then i need to make sure that these are together so i'm going to click on this function here i'm just going to drag this to the side drag this to the side a little bit uh, maybe a little bit more to the side i want it to be at the center not so close yeah so by so doing my keyframe would have adjusted here right so but that's okay so i have this i want to transform the same curve throughout there right so that's what i'm going to try and do now okay so i just need to replicate those shapes to be the same way so this is not looking quite like it yet and i think this is because this is not center so i may need to adjust this and then just drag this like this so this can be very well at the center so this needs some tweaking adjusting you know so that you would get something much more accurate so uh with this let us see what we have let me play this this is already making sense let me play it again so at the end it's still looking very very jerky so all that we need to do i think the keyframes are so close at the end so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hold down alt and just drag this out right so that there'll be enough spacing in between them because the end is looking yes yeah, so it's looking more natural now right so let me play this again all right so this is actually looking much more natural now right so i think with this we can actually work with this so the key takeaway from here is you need to make sure that all of these lines when it is bouncing off when it's at the top they are at the center or almost at the center like this is not actually at the center we have to make it more at the center i might have to do this maybe this would do or this would do so the curve has to it has to form some kind of curve like from here down can you see it's like it's forming like a slant c curve so you need to also watch out for that and you can also still adjust the bounce rate it wants not to bounce too much i can just click and drag up and then i have something like this and i'll just make sure that this also goes up as well so let me play this again so i think with this i'm good and this is just the first thing to bounce in animation so the next thing is to add some a little bit of some an animation principle which is scratch and stretch which is what i'm going to do now all right so here we are uh just so you know before i go on there are different ways of achieving this this is just my own way of achieving a bouncing ball so you can watch another tutorial it might not look exactly like mine this is just my own way of achieving it uh let me know what you guys think in the comment section so right now i want to achieve the squatch and stretch i used to use scale before but scale is not actually give the best result so right now i've resorted into using path animation and for me to be able to do that i need to close this up and open it open up the content open up the group and then you can see my path here uh if you actually draw a, an actual ellipse you might let me just quickly show you that uh in a bit so let's say you, you actually draw a, an ellipse here right right now you might not see your path 
you will see, only see ellipse path and then you see sizes. So the only way you can turn it into a path, right, just normal shape path is by right clicking and then you now do convert to Bezier path. With that, you now have access to the path, okay? So that's just simple fix if you actually draw an ellipse. Um, so right now I have access to the path now. So let me just check this, making sure that it's on one of the keyframes. Let me just check this and then I'll press U. So it will only show where I have my keyframe. So right now we want to achieve the scratch when it is landing, right? I want to achieve the stretch when this is uh, going up. So uh, let me just go back a few frames. Let me do one, two, three and I'll check this path. So at this point it's going to be like this. So let me go back one more frame right from here. So let me just take this here. So and then before it lands, so let's say at this point, I want this to stretch down. So how will I do that? So all I need to do is simple, make sure I select my path, one of the path and then I can just drag this down a little bit. Maybe not up to where it will land, but almost. And then I'll just try and adjust this, hold down my shift and then do something like this right and then i can take this and then drag this down as well take this and then drag this down as well so we have this stretch okay so if i take this back so stretch and then when it lands i want it to squash so all i need to do is just i like this then drag this down i need to take this and then stretch it to the side take this stretch this to the side and then most likely i like this too drag it this down take this and make it stretch and we should drag this more to the side drag this more to the side and then let me go back to the previous frame i might need to make this thinner so let me just align this one on the side then drag this to the side a little bit drag this one to the side a little bit right and i need to reduce this as well because when something is stretching it gets thinner when it's squashing right or landing gets Pattern. so that's the whole idea so right now if i have to just preview what i have by just scrolling right so this makes it interesting so on the next frame just one frame i'm going to make it stretch so i'm most likely um, let me just copy what i have here and then paste it here so i'll just make sure i light all of this and drag them up holding down shift and then i will have to reduce the height of this so i need to just adjust all of this back up and i'm thinking maybe all of them should come down a little bit so let me see what i have okay then i'll do two frames forward and then i'm just gonna alight the first keyframe and then paste so it turns back to the ball okay so let's see what we have now if i have to preview what i have here so you can see it's giving me that stretch and you can see the, the cartoon look that it's giving. This is actually what we want to achieve and it's really, really looking good. So what, basically what I'm going to do, I'm just going to repeat this process throughout till the end. So, so that's what I'm going to do now. So let me just go forward in time. So when it's coming back. So at this point where it's already squashing again, so it's not going to squash as much as it was the first time. So all we need to do, let me just go here. I'm just going to reduce the squash, right? Just a tiny bit, right? And then this will be a little bit taller, just a tiny bit. And then I'm just going to go, let's see one frame back. And let me just copy what I have here in the previous one and paste it here, right? Which is the stretch. And it's not going to be as stretchy as it was before. So when it gets to the end, you need to reduce the squash and stretch to make more sense. So I just stretch it a little bit here and here. And then when it gets here, just make this like this. Probably just come down like this. 
there's a tiny bit so one frame here just copy and paste and then we can leave the rest so i've done my scratch and stretch and let me play this now let's play so let me make sure it's full screen no rollers let's see so i realized that my stretch is actually very very it's actually much here so the stretch is not supposed to be this strong so i might need to go in there and reduce it because the velocity should reduce as it comes in here even here let's see here here let's see how it looks like now let's see I think the second this two looks so much I think it looks okay and this is basically how you can actually do your ball bouncing I'm pretty sure you do enjoy that if you do make sure you do like it don't forget you can always download the project files on the link in the description and of course if you are new make sure you do subscribe and just watch out for any of the videos that might come out from the left or right, right, that you are here to watch. And I'm pretty sure you'll learn something from that. All right, now, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.